I just found a way to make 100 short form videos in under 10 minutes without literally ever having to touch an editing timeline. I know this sounds absolutely crazy because I used to spend hours upon hours on making these short form clips, but nowadays you can literally automate most of this process. All you have to do is drag and drop your raw files into a Google Drive folder and in seconds you will get an edited version in another Drive folder. And I'm not talking about some super crappy editing, it actually looks good and can actually Actually perform well on social media. This is the type of videos that you can get out of this automation process. This is only possible now thanks to Submagic's new API feature and in this video I'm going to show you how to set this automation up step by step and start printing short form videos. So without any further ado let's jump right into it. You will need two tools for this. First of all you will need Submagic and you can sign up for Submagic in the description down below and get 10% off your order if you use the code VINCE and you will also need N8N for the automations which you can also sign up for for free and get a 14 day free trial so you can try this out for yourself. So step zero of this process is to create two separate Google Drive folders. One of them is going to be for us to upload our raw clips into and the other one is going to be for the exports. Now I'm going to name my raw folder raw-videos and my exports folder submagic-exports. It's important that you go ahead and click here on share and then set them on anyone with the link so that the API will actually be able to access it. Then step two is to go into Submagic and get your API key. So you wanna go to integrations, manage API key, go here to API, and right here you will have generate API key and then you want to copy that and save it somewhere. Now you can see for me it shows regenerate key because I already created one, uh, but for you it's going to show generate new key. After this go into NA10 and then you want to come here to credentials. Now as you can see I already have my Google Drive account connected to NA10 and I'm going to leave a tutorial video for that in the description down below. It's about a three to four minute process. You need to create a Google Cloud account and then through that you will be able Able to connect your drive account into an A10. All right, now next up, what we are going to do is get the template for this entire automation so you don't have to build it from scratch from Submagic. So come here to integrations, then click here on this Google Drive automation workflow and then download it right here. This is going to download a JSON file for your computer. And now if we go back into NA10 and start a new project from scratch, we will be able to actually import this JSON file into it. So just click here on the three dots, click here on import from file, select your file right there, click here on open and just like that it imported the entire workflow for you. Now you could also use their API to build your workflows from scratch and basically do whatever automations or workflows you want but if you are not that advanced this comes in super handy to have this template. Okay now we need to fix these errors here so first click on the Google Drive trigger and after that click here on fetch test event. Now you can see that this was executed successfully, so that is great. Now I'm going to go ahead and upload a raw clip into the raw videos folder to make sure that it's getting the signals that we need. Now we need to click here on the webhook and then after that click here on production URL. After this you want to go ahead and copy this, so just click on it to copy it and then come here to HTTP request. After this you want to scroll all the way down here to the JSON section and here where it says your webhook URL, you want to paste in here this one that you just copied. Now, it's important that you can also change the settings of Submagic right here in the JSON part. So you can change the language of the video, you can change the title of it that you want to use, you can change whether you want to have magic zoom in and out or not. Uh, so magic zooms, you can also choose whether you want it to add B-roll on top of it, uh, what percent of the video should have B-rolls, and even a bunch of other customizations that the API allows for. If you wanna find out more information about that, I will leave a link in the description down below where you can find out more. All right, now we also have another issue in here, which is the header off issue. So here we need to click here on create new credential, and we are going to name this x-api-key. And now we want to add our Submagic API key right here, which is the first thing we copied in the beginning of this tutorial. So now I'm just going to copy that in here, save it. And after this, we clicked here on execute step. And as you can see, it's working as well. All right, now next up, we want to make sure that we have the correct Google Drive folders uh, selected in both parts of this uh, workflow. So first I'm going to go into the upload one and here I'm going to make sure to have my Submagic exports folder selected. So you can just type it in here. 
submagic dash exports in my case, but you can name this whatever you want. Then just click here and make sure it's the correct one. And even here in the other one, I'm going to come here and put in here raw dash videos, which is what I named the folder where I will be uploading my raw videos. So this is the one. Great. Now, if we did everything correctly, it should all be working. So I'm going to delete the raw video uh, that I uploaded in here uh, first. And then after this, I'm going to actually activate this workflow. So click here on activate workflow. And after that, click here on got it. And now if I go ahead and upload a new video into the raw videos folder, it's going to automatically detect that and then make the edited version from it and upload it to my exports folder. So let me just drag and drop the clip here once again. Okay, it finished with the uploading. So now if I come back here into NA10, I can actually see my executions right here and we should have one that uh, just got started. So you can see it got the signal from Google Drive that I uploaded a new clip into it. And now if we go into my Submagic exports folder, I will have the actual final clip ready for me to use. This is gonna take anywhere from 30 seconds to maximum a couple of minutes. And this is the beauty of technology like this nowadays. If you're smart and you start using these tools, then it's going to literally do the work for you that would take you normally hours to do. And I'm just showing this to you right now with one video, but you could also just drag and drop 50 clips in here and it does it for you. So you can see now, just like that, it magically my edited video appeared. So I can go ahead, download it, and let me show you the final result. I'm going to play the raw file that I imported and the edited version next to it so you can see how crazy this is. I was spending over 15 to 20 hours on content creation every single week planning and scripting on Mondays, filming on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and then editing for the rest of the whole week. It was absolutely exhausting. And to be frank with you, I couldn't always stick to my schedule, which was really frustrating me. Again, the worst part wasn't even the time it took, it was the inconsistency. And again, this is just one way of using this technology with Submagic's API, and the opportunities are truly endless. Like your imagination is your only limit in here. You could literally make hundreds or thousands of different types of automations and workflows to make your workflow faster and easier. So I hope you liked this simple and straightforward tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content similar to this. And if you wanna try out this tool, make sure to click the first link in the description down below, sign up for Submagic, use code VINCE at checkout to get 10% off your order, and I will see you guys in the next video.